Rolling. Three, two, one, go. Getting blown away in the movies is more complicated than it looks. Cables and pulleys, or ratchets, are used to create explosive impacts. The action's taking place at a school for stunt wannabes in Australia. This ratchet system can apply over 600 pounds of force, jerking the students back at speeds of up to 10 miles an hour. Three, two, one, go! It's the third and final week of a gruelling course. Timing and teamwork have to be just right. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. British rookie Johnny Hampton is next to be blasted. OK, you guys set? Set. Three, two, one, go! Whoa! What the f was that? Hey? Where did they go? Johnny's fellow rookies mistimed the jerk back. If they are to pass the course, they need to improve their teamwork. Just come in close, everybody, just for a quick chat. Colin Handley's the stunt school director. From the start, he's assessed and graded the students' performance. They've come from all over the world at their own expense to learn this trade. We use this sort of ratchet in lots and lots of different situations in films. Uh, reactions to explosions, reaction to gunshots, strong kicks, strong punches, things like that. Shane Sarlin is Colin's right-hand man. He's keeping a close eye on Naomi Baker. She's struggling with the mental pressure of the course and has already missed a number of key sessions. Naomi's attitude has, has been a question mark the whole course. If she doesn't fix it, she doesn't really have what it takes to make it as, as a stunt person because you only need to have one bad day on set and you're not coming back. This week's sessions will be graded, but no marks given until the end of the week. The stunts are too dangerous for there to be any distractions. A few of the students are teetering on the brink of failure. OK, I'm rolling. Action! Yay! Cut. Hold on. You OK? Lovely. Yeah, Thank you. Beautiful job, everybody. Come on in. Congratulations, those that participated in that. Looked good. Naomi did well, but she may still fail the course. She scored good marks in past weeks, but has lost points through her absences. If I think they're not mentally capable of handling this industry, then I'm going to have to give them the bad news before they actually go out and cause themselves an injury or serious bodily harm. Uh, it's for their safety that I'll be stopping them, um, and I always hate doing that because I'm destroying a dream. For the students to achieve their dreams, they have to pass the course and conquer their fears. The next session, a true test of their courage, high falls from the top of the tower. The main objective with falls is to land flat. The more of your body that hits the bag, the more you're going to spread the force out and the less impact you will feel. We're going to have a safety process. You will all be standing around the bag as spotters. If, for some reason, our faller kicks off and gives himself too much trajectory out this way, he can quite easily miss the bag. We need you to be able to pull that bag under him if necessary. One of the things you do not want to do is try and catch them. Imagine trying to catch me at that, from that height. You'll just you'll kill us both. After fracturing his wrist on an earlier course, Mike Saliba has damaged it again. Despite doctor's advice, he thinks he can complete this course. The tutors aren't so sure. At the moment, I'd probably say it's only about 50-50. It's touch and go, so, uh, geez, I hope, he, I hope he can pull through. But if his arm doesn't hold up, he's going to have to stop. You coming up for an eagle eye view, Michael? No, I'm going to do this slow one. Mike's planning to attempt a low-level jump, but Shane, who's a safety expert, disagrees with Colin about whether Mike should be jumping at all. Carl, you sure you're happy with this? Well, it's his, it's his choice, but I know that if he keeps his arm to his chest, uses his other one to break the fall, it's not going to hurt his arm as long as he does the technique right. The height is only 15 feet, 
but Mike still can't afford to land badly. Skipping the higher fall will cost Mike marks. We're in the third week and it's the toughest week out of the lot. I'm going to be at a great disadvantage because I can't do a lot of the stuff. So as far as my final assessment, it's going to be way, way down. But I'm still going to finish the course. I'm still determined to do that. OK, we're going up to the next floor. Next up is Naomi. She's going from the top. It's 30 feet, like jumping off the roof of a house. If there is a problem, the safety team will have just half a second to move the bag. I'm going to move the chain, and you're going to jump. You got it? OK, let's go. I'm rolling. Hollywood stunt coordinator Dale Gibson's assessing each fall. Guess not bad for a girl. He'll choose the best jumpers to star in the end of course movie scene. Johnny is hoping for a big role, so he's showing off his acting skills. Oh no, there's a fire! <laughs> I better jump. I can see acting's gonna be your forte. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your mouth closed. You're going to fall, you're going to yell, do good. But when you impact, shut your mouth. Next for the high jump is US Army veteran Hawk Miller. He's been afraid of falling ever since an accident at the age of eight. So far on the course, he's coped. But can he do the high fall? I was on a uh, trampoline with my brother and uh, was launched into the stratosphere. I missed the trampoline on the way down. And uh, all I remember is the moment before impact, thinking, wow, this is going to hurt, and being right. There's still that little voice in the back of my mind that says, hey, remember what that felt like? It's out there again if you don't pull this off exactly right. Collins' chosen hawk for a film shootout. OK, is the bag set? Everyone ready? He's putting him under pressure to see if the Americans over his fear. Action! Fantastic little scene there, guys. Nice little bit of uh, acting, good fall. OK, well done. A successful stunt that will count towards Hawk's final grade. I think I pulled it off well. I know I did it safely and I uh, hit my mark. So as far as I'm concerned, that was, uh, that was a good stunt. The team is preparing for tonight's session. The most frightening of all, fire burns. But one of them isn't taking part. Naomi's gone missing again. I'm scared of fire. If you're motorcycling and fall off, you might break a leg. I'm sure that hurts, but you're in hospital and it's mended. You're not scarred for life. If I get, if I get burnt on my face, my face is scarred for life. When it gets dark, the fire session will begin. The tutors aren't happy about Naomi's absence. I now have my doubts whether she's going to complete the course because uh, you do need mental strength. You need to be able to remain positive under extreme conditions. We, you, they're going to be in stressful situations. They're going to be under a lot of pressure. Um, they need to be able to deal with that pressure in a positive way. Otherwise, they can put themselves and other people in danger. And there are dangers enough in the next session, a stunt that definitely shouldn't be tried at home. Fire can kill you quite easily. There are three methods that you can die from fire. One, smoke inhalation. Two inhaling flame, and three, boiling. Your blood will literally boil. Uh, you will be working as safety for each other. There's an old saying in the business, never sleep with your safety man's girlfriend. If you do, he may just let you burn a little. OK, <laughs> I need you to be on the ball. Each rookie will have a different part of his body set on fire. We're going to work our way up to a full human torch. I'll get you to come up and uh, choose out of the bucket here one of the pieces of paper. Hawk loves the big burns in the movies, so he wants to draw the human torch. Peter Deeb, come on down. I'm okay. in awe. 
of these guys that are out there lighting themselves up. Okay, mate. I want to be that guy. Thank you. Rondon. A bit of adrenaline just thinking about it. I know Hawk's trying to get the big one. Yes. See how you go, Hawkey. Will it be fate? Big moment. Now, what I'd like you to do is open your pieces of paper. Okay. One arm. One arm. Human torch. Human yeah. torch! Englishman yeah. Steve Langley gets the big burn. Two arms. <laughs> two arms. Oh, one right. arm, one leg. <laughs> one arm, one leg. <laughs> two legs, two, two legs. legs. <laughs> two legs. <laughs> Hawk decides to put his money where his mouth is. <laughs> I can't take 150 bucks off him. Right? Oh, 150! Oh, Just 150. off to me, 150. 150. Yeah, of course I'll take it. Steve will swap, all right. <laughs> money where his mouth Oh, yeah, Hawk's a man of the blood. Jesus, <laughs> man, you could have come to my place, would have lit you up for half that. <laughs> Shane's impressed. I think Hawk really has the drive to make it as a stunt person. He wants it, and he wants it bad. I can see him chasing people down, calling them every week until they finally say, oh, look, just give the guy a job and get him out of my hair. Before his burn, Hawk must watch the others get lit up. Australian rookie Peter Deeb. A protective fire retardant undersuit like that worn by racing drivers will guard him from the heat heat that will reach 800 degrees. His life is in the hands of his fellow rookies who are being taught how to put him out with soaking blankets. You'll pat from the feet upward and you'll pat from the head downward and meet in the middle. When you know it's gone out, you can take that one off, take that one off, but always be prepared for it to reignite if worse comes to worse. You doing okay? I'm nervous now, but I think I'll be okay when I do it. <laughs> A little bit of nerves and a little bit of fear will keep yeah. you alive. Yeah. yeah. Very true. Somebody tells you they are not scared of anything, they're either really stupid like a or, or really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Peter's a devout Christian and the youngest rookie here. He calls on his faith to get him through. I sometimes get a bit self-conscious and think, I can't do this or, or, you know, I feel lower than some people. My faith gets me through a lot of the time. How are you feeling, Peter? You ready? <clears throat> yeah. You focused? <sighs> yeah, because I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, that's it. The students are told to drop to the ground the moment they feel hot. Can you see? Yeah. Good. I'm just having trouble breathing. Yeah. <clears throat> Get a little claustrophobic in there, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Applying petrol. Okay, standing up. Here we go, igniting. Count to 15. And action! You're lit! Feet together, there keep you feet go. together. That's him up. You see her, you okay? Yeah. Did you get okay. hot at all? I'm getting hot now. Okay. Yeah. Take it out. Wait, 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 wait. Peter decided to bite the dust before he reached the safety team. Okay, Peter, standing up. Okay, do you notice he fell short of the mark? Yeah. Okay, that's not always your uh, stuntman's fault. Sometimes they have to go down. So it's important the safety okay. guys came to him. You got hot and you went <laughs> down yeah, early. That's, that's fine. why I dropped because I started that's to get fine. warm. That's fine. That's fine. I yeah. could feel it. You know, before they lit me up, I said a little bit of a prayer. I needed to call on some inner strength, and, and it really helped me concentrate. I feel great now. I could do it again and, and do it much more confidently, and, you know, I think it was just fear of the unknown. Mike's next to be set on fire. Despite his injured arm, he's going to have a go. Just a, an interesting point, everybody, too. You will sometimes feel the petrol seep through to the skin. Rest assured that that won't ignite underneath your clothing because there's no oxygen under there. So don't panic. Unsnap. Might just burn your butt a little, that's all. If you get hot at all, if you even think you're hot, get down immediately. I've seen guys, veteran stunt guys, get in a panic and take off running. And I don't want to have to throw that fire extinguisher you and knock <clears> you down, because I will if I can't catch you. Oh, man, a few minutes to go, and I'm scared out of my wits. 
it's the the big one for me, you know, and, and I am uh, I'm terrified of it, and I think that's part of the reason I want to do it so bad. And everyone set. Here we go. Mike's ready, ready for his fire stunt. Action! Oh, 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 me out! Turn me out! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yes. went right down on that hand. Was that real? I noticed she went down on that arm pretty uh, pretty hard. Is your arm OK? Mm -hmm. Were you hot or were you acting? No, I was acting. Not hot at all. Oh, OK. <laughs> you sold the yeah. bell. Oh, check Mike. Get him out of there. Mike's fireproof glove must be carefully removed to avoid hurting his wrist. You set a new track record. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Careful. That wasn't acting. One of the safety team yanked too hard at the glove. Oh. As Mike nurses his wrist, the team is preparing for Hawk's human torch. I know how much you want to do this, and I know how much you're going to enjoy it, but while you're doing it, do not enjoy it. Right. Do not think about how much fun you're having. Focus on what you're doing, and don't do anything extra. OK? Kay. That's it. Ready? Hawk's burn will be filmed. For this scene, He's playing a drunken biker. Igniting. And roll camera. Action. Nice burn, excellent. Well done, guys. Hawk, you OK? Gentle slowly. For the first two weeks of the course, Hawk struggled with his physical fitness. And a round of applause for Hawk. He up he get, mate. That was huge. This week's stunts rely on focus and courage. And now he's excelling. Did you get hot at all? I, I feel like I've met a goal I set myself a long time ago. Excellent. The last 10 minutes of my life have been what I've worked for and what I've wanted for myself for so long. Worth every penny of that 150 bucks, yeah? It's like a beginning, you know, and it just, you, you reach that point where you know you're ready to start, and it's just, wow. Naomi was too scared to take part in the fire session but her real problems lie in the water. She was one of Australia's top young surfers, but left the sport five years ago when a close friend drowned taking part in her first competition. The girl was just 16. Conditions were quite big, four to six foot, and Jodie took the first wave of the set. She got washed off her board underneath the water. Her leg rate got caught around a rock. Next minute, I've just seen Jodie just push off the bottom and just burst through the air and just through the water like this, and then she's just flung straight back down. All I could see was Jodie's foot sort of hanging through a wave with the leg rope connected to it. And I've just realised she she's gone then. But as soon as I saw her foot, she was just gone. After 10 minutes underwater, Jodie was found. Naomi helped bring her to the shore. As we brought Jodie out of the water, her body's just flopped. Water just came straight out of her mouth. Um, from there, we we've, we've did CPR to get a pulse back. We finally got a pulse back, and that's when the ambulance came. And she was on a life support system for three days. Jodie died without regaining consciousness. Naomi had made a promise to Jodie's parents that she would look after her young friend. I can handle the death. I've accepted, I mean, Jodie passing away. I've accepted everything that's happened, but I can't face her parents because that's when everything's like too much. I hit home. Naomi's decided to face up to her problems. She's returning to the course. The stunt course is part of stability in life for me because after Jodie's death, I went off the rails for a while. By finishing the course, I think I will leave the tragedy behind. You're directly responsible to the stunt coordinator. Keep that in mind that it's a oh, high name. Um, hey, you know, you know. So, um... The tutors know about Naomi's surfing ability, 
so they're expecting her to perform well in the next challenging session. Water stunts. Water, if you hit it very, very fast, it's like hitting concrete, as many of you will know. One of the things that we will practice is boat fallouts, and boat fallouts can be dangerous. Um, we've had uh, a couple of incidents with boat fallouts. One time, a guy was jumping out of a boat, his arms and legs were flailing everywhere, he caught his arm on the water, tore muscles in his arm. Another guy had his tongue hanging out, did his uh, boat fall out, landed on his back, bit half his tongue off. So if I can suggest, keep your tongue in, keep your limbs in when you do boat fall outs and you'll be fine. Go, go, go! The rookies are hitting the water at 30 miles an hour. They must enter at the right angle if they're to avoid injury. Jiminy cricket, that's cold. <laughs> <laughs> Next on the agenda, one of the most difficult water stunt skills, the boat drag. What you've got to try and do is pull this in and arch your back. And what'll happen is you'll actually, your upper body will pop up, up on top of the water. If you want to, you can roll over. If you roll over, stretch your arms out, use your legs to push, and you'll roll over onto your back. Now don't tilt your head back, you can break your neck. So keep your head up. And when you're ready, just push back over and pull in, and you'll be back on your front again. Now guys, just, just one more thing before we get, we get too close to doing it. This is one where when you're starting, if you're not in the right position, you'll submarine and you'll basically start to go down and down and down. If something happens like that, do let go. It is quite easy. If you submarine and hang on for about five seconds, you'll be scraping the mud. Michael's wrist still hasn't recovered from his fireproof glove being ripped off. He's sitting this session out. Johnny volunteers to go first. Unfortunately, he forgets to shut his mouth. You seem to have trouble keeping your mouth closed at the best of times. <laughs> Next is Hawk. Push your feet down into the water, lift your family jewels slightly out of the water and you'll be fine. After his submarine impression, he ends up having a bad hair day. <laughs> the pressure is on Naomi to show what she's made of. She's being dragged at 40 miles an hour, but with her natural talent, it's a piece of cake. <laughs> Naomi is the only rookie to master boat drags. That was nicely done. Looked really good for me. Her colleagues are impressed with her physical abilities and delighted to have her back. You showgirl, you. Spot on. Man, she had us worried, but uh, she hung in there. She did a, a great job. Uh, she's actually come a long way from when I first saw her. I met her, she was a little bit timid almost. I'm, uh, I'm very impressed with Naomi. Naomi has now missed a total of five key sessions. The tutors want to know why and Naomi's decided to tell them. You had me a little worried yesterday, Naomi. I didn't think you were gonna to show today. I was pleased to see you turn up. Do you find um, that it's, uh, it's something that happens regularly to you? You, you? Like you get down and tired and... I just, I just let things bother me where I shouldn't. I never used to, it's just the last couple of years. Things get tough sometimes, I don't know how to cope. And the reason why I haven't continued my surfing career is because um, if you've heard about the girl that drowned at Snapper Rocks in a surfing contest, I saved her life and she died three days later. Oh, gosh. And um, since then, it's just made me... I just... Not that I don't care anymore. It's just... Well, yeah, <laughs> but it's I tough. Mm. You know, it's so, tough dealing with that kind of yeah, stuff. So how, don't how did be that happen? You, you actually saved her so she was alive. Yeah. That's horrible. a shame. So that's why I tend to... I care a lot about a lot of things, but... Um, well, that's a life-changing yeah. experience, going through something like that. I can imagine you, your whole attitude towards a lot of things that change. Mm. It's scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that makes, uh, makes your behaviour a little more understandable. I do really want to try and deal with it. It's just the mental challenge that's getting me. So it's just 
working it out, that stability, I'll be all right in a little bit of yeah. time. Well, you're doing it. Mm. You're doing it. You're here today. You're doing it. Mm. Okay, you've come back. Yeah. Doesn't matter how many times you trip up, as long as you get over it, eventually you'll learn what there is to learn about it and move on and just be a better person, I guess. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, I'm two days to go. Mm -hmm. We'll look forward to them. I'll be here. Okay. Thank you. Tomorrow, it's the final exam. But before that, the end of course movie day. Valuable marks will be up for grabs as the rookies star in a movie involving gunfights, high falls and explosions. Stunt Park is the set for a fistful of lead. Four of the rookies play cops and the rest are arms dealers about to be ambushed. Naomi's one of the bad guys and Johnny's a cop. No, I'm going through the gap. I want you just, just there, just a bit more to your left. Okay, so I'm a little more this way. Just get a hand up there. Come on, guys, now brain surgery. Ready? Ready? Perfect. This looks better. To make the action realistic, a special effects team fits the rookies with squibs, bags full of dye electronically activated to explode at the right moment. To shoot that bullet here. It doesn't matter where you fall. Mike's going to be killed off quickly. His wrist is worse, and he needs to get to hospital. Oh, lucky fella. <laughs> yeah, I don't normally go this far on the first date, but as soon as you're so good looking, it's all right. Mike went against medical opinion by continuing the course. This appointment could prove the doctors right. After the fire incident, my hand has been really, really sore. I can't stress how much it's been aching. Um, and so I'm worried that I've done even more damage on top of what's happened already. I'm not looking forward to going to the hospital. Collins ready to roll. Action! Please, please, don't move! Man down, man down! Mike's shirt is about to be covered in blood, if the special effects work. That's not the only problem. I got him, I got him! Johnny's supposed to vault acrobatically onto the balcony. I'm coming, I'm coming! Back up and do it again! Back up and do it again! Not a good start. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going! The rookies know how they perform today will help decide whether they pass or fail this course. Yep. The tutors are not happy. That's good, guys. We were supposed to start at two hours ago, and we've got one shot. All right. Colin and Shane are working out how to get the shoot back on track. Mike can't go to hospital until he's properly killed off. He's a bad dog. I'm going to die. <laughs> and that's not the war. <laughs> OK, let's make everybody hot. Weapons hot. Here we go. Take two. This time, the electronics had better work. Action! <laughs> Cut. That was nice, Michael. You OK? The shot worked out fine, and Mike's filming day is over. But Naomi's is just beginning. So what you'll do is you'll shoot, bang, go to cock it, then you're going to get shot. As you fall, lock it in against your body so that when you do your fall, it's not going to actually come slamming into you. Her meeting with the tutors helped them understand her problems, but she's still in danger of failing the course. She's carrying a lot of guilt. She seems to think that partly she's responsible for her girlfriend's death, and uh, that's, a, that's a big concern for me because uh, it might be contributing to her mental instability. Today will be a really good test for her because we're going to be putting people under pressure. I hope she can handle it. And action! Doesn't get any better than that. That was perfect. All these guys said you couldn't do it, Naomi, but I said she can do it. <laughs> Dale's come across thousands of stunt wannabes and predicts only a few of these will make it. You know, 20 years ago on the movie sets, it was a different game. Maybe a lot of playing around, a little bit of drugs, a little bit of drinking, whatever. That was a cool thing to do. In this day and age, it's very much a business. They say 10,000 people a week come to Hollywood alone just to get in the movie business. That's pretty competitive. 
I'll be surprised if three out of ten of them make it. Let's go hot. Peter, a warehouseman, hopes he'll be one of them. It's going to look stupid if everything doesn't go right. His girlfriend, Nicole, has traveled a thousand miles from Melbourne to watch him in action. OK, stunt guys, go hot. Special effects, you hot? Good deal. Roll camera, and... Cut! How was that, Shane? Perfect. Guys. If that was any better, you would have actually shot him. That was great. Enjoying it? Mm -hmm. That was cool, actually. That worked well. <laughs> Nicole is seeing Peter in a whole new light. He's excited. I've never seen him so excited. It's like a little kid telling me what he got for Christmas, sort of thing. Oh, we did this and we did that. And, um, I know it's his dream to be in the stunt world or in the movies, and I think it's fantastic that it is actually coming true for him. But Colin's course doesn't guarantee anyone a job. It's just the first step. A lot of people have said to me that I'm raising the students' expectations. I don't believe that. I think all I'm doing is expanding their horizons and saying, you know, you can do this if you want it bad enough. I know that all of them aren't going to become stunt performers. Some of them will find it too difficult physically or mentally, and that's just the nature of the game. OK, let's move on to the last shot of the day. It's got to be a passion and there's nothing going to stop you from achieving it. And it's those sorts of people that will make it in this business. Let's punch in and pick up the fire burn. Yeah. Good luck, buddy. Cheers, darling. Good luck with that fire. Don't burn too much. I won't. I won't. Stee is today's human torch. He knows how dangerous fire can be. When I was 17, uh, there was a plague of ants all around my house in the drive, getting in the house, so we started torching ants. I ended up setting myself on fire, and I basically fried my face off. I was very lucky not to be scarred for life. So I know how fire can hurt. I know how bad it hurts you. So that probably will be preying on my mind. Some petrol splashed on Steve's face. Give me a little more gel right here on the face. Did uh, some of that petrol go on his face? Yeah. Just gel, wet, gel, off. lots of gel. There's concern because today a fireproof hood isn't being worn. No one is offering him money to swap this time. OK, we're ready to go with the burn. Everyone be uh, on their toes, please. OK, here we go. Roll cameras. And action! Hold on. And you're lit. Quickly! You okay? Yeah. Did you get hot? Yeah. Where at? Right here. Your hair got hot? Oh, hi. Let's okay. get him up. Bring me gel. <laughs> Which is right here. This one? Stay right here. This one. Gel. Real gel, hot or just warm? Oh, it got, got singed a little. Yeah. Yeah. Gel is ears. Apart from Steve's singed yeah, ear, today has gone well with no real casualties. OK, good job, everyone. Nice uh, little burn there. The movie is in the can. Send me a meat wagon. Let's go, let's go. That was it. That was the last scene. I am so fired up for tomorrow. I've got this like uh, 
sort of adrenaline thing going. I, I mean, I didn't have any huge stunts today, but man, I had a good time. Uh, something about fully automatic weapons just puts me in a really good mood. Uh, actually, all joking aside, the big meat and potatoes evaluation is tomorrow. The, uh, it's the big banana of everything we've done, and I think we're all going to really just shine. But for one rookie, the course is already over. Mike's been told he needs an urgent operation on his wrist. The doctor, he's not sure whether he wants to pin it or bone graft, but he, he, he said, you're looking at uh, a bone graft, they want to take some bone off my hip and um, put them out. But he's, he, he doesn't know yet. Well, that's good. I mean, don't, don't push it. We've been saying that the whole time. Yeah, I know, and I have been pushing it, but basically I'm sick of the pain. Yeah. I can't do any stunts, I can't think, yeah. like, it's really hard to focus and yeah. so I'm not going to take the risk. Right, yeah. Yeah. I tell you what, Michael, I think you've made the right decision, mate. Thanks, mate. I really do. Yeah, I agree. I think you could have made this decision at any point in the last week and no one would have thought any less of you. You've demonstrated a lot of courage and um, yeah, well, you've impressed us. Good hearing that. Cheers. Yeah. Okay, guys. Thanks, mate. Normally for me, to make a decision it is very easy. It's either you know, black or white. but. This that I'd have to say would be one of the hardest decisions I've made because I've been enjoying what I've been doing, all, all the stunts and all the activities and, and the group exercises. That's why I've been postponing, dropping out from the course. It's been a really hard decision and, and it's really messed with my mind a bit, but that's life and um, it's the most sensible thing to do is to start. Exam day. The rookies need to average 7 out of 10 in the practical and theory tests to get their certificate in basic stunt skills. But one of them won't be there. I want to update you on Michael's situation. He's not so good. He's uh, pinched a nerve. Uh, the bone's healing incorrectly. Hopefully the pain subsides today and he's able to join us. But uh, if not, we'll all understand why. Everyone was hoping that against all the odds, Mike would make it to the end. If anyone should have completed the course, it should have been him. Um, you know, he still kept up the high spirit, still was behind the team and encouraging people when they were having trouble with, with certain activities. It's sad that he couldn't do it. OK. For the rest, the show must go on. First, it's the tumbling exam. Johnny wants to come top today. Action! So he's hoping for a score of 9 out of 10 here. Freeze, police! Get down! Freeze! Come on! Let it go! Freeze! Come on! <laughs> Freeze! Ah! Cut! Johnny's going for the Academy Award Oscar winning <laughs> acting performance. Probably just a little overdone there though, Johnny. Uh, tumbling school. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, didn't quite sell the, the trip backwards, but, uh, but overall, pretty good. 7.5. He's disappointed. One of his main rivals for top spot is Peter Deeb. Action! Freeze! Don't make me chase you! He gets 9 out of 10 in this test. British rookie Steve Langley gets 7.5. Naomi needs to average seven or more today. That hesitation will cost her marks. And cut. Yes. I'm over here. Um, good acting skill there, I was fairly convinced. Uh, the tumbling needs uh, maybe a touch more work on the dive rolls, but uh, not too bad overall, seven out of 10. Despite her mistake, she just gets the mark she needs. This is Hawke's weakest discipline. He'll be happy with a seven. Freeze! Don't move! Don't! If I pass, of course, I'm going to be ecstatic and, and, and just washed over with pride. And if I don't pass, of course, I'm going to be disappointed. It's going to be really, really hard on me. Got to give you seven and a half for that, which is a lot more than I was thinking. <laughs> well done. The next test is right up Hawk Street. Fighting skills. Whoa. 
So far, so good. But next, the most difficult part of their assessment, a choreographed fight scene with Colin and Dale. And action. Sit down there! She's got something to say? Yeah, right! Go! Yeah, get her, Carl. Yeah, right. Thought she was something. Kick her ass. <laughs> Cut. Well done. That was very, very good. But will Shane give Naomi the seven she needs? <laughs> Excellent. What do you think, Shane? Oh, I'd have to give that an eight and a half. Oh, eight and a half. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. All right. That's a Thank very, you. very good score. You should be proud of that. Step back With the pressure on, the Naomi is performing yeah. impressively. Hawks also on fire today. He gets a nine. But Johnny scores 8.5. Stee joins the race for top spot with a well-deserved nine. Will Peter beat that? Cut. That was pretty damn good, actually. What not it shine? I can give him a 10. 10? I can't. I can't You're the man! Right. First 10 of the course. That's it. All right, that, Peter. That, I thought he hurt himself three times in that thing. That looked so good. <laughs> The physical tests are over. Now, the written exam. And your 45 minutes starts now. The rookies must answer questions about safety and onset protocol. It may look informal, but 10% of the final mark is up for grabs. Hawke struggled with some of the physical demands of the course, and now he's got writer's cramp. Let's discuss them individually. Uh, starting with Keith Hawk Miller, Mr. Hawk. I must admit he's impressed me this afternoon. And, uh, and his and name's yesterday. Keith. Yeah. <laughs> Hawk uh, is a. Uh, me too. The last couple of days when I first saw him, I was like, oh boy. And the last couple of days, he's really pulled yeah. it off. What about Naomi? <laughs> Naomi just keeps me jumping. I don't know. She's really, really talented. She's done every. You know, she jumped and did those high falls yesterday. Just ask her to, boom, she nailed them right. No hesitation. Mm. But then she doesn't show up for a class. Mm. So, I don't know. She's got some stuff to work out before she gets out in the film world. Is yeah. ever gonna, that's going to last one time. She doesn't show up for a job. She'll need to find a new career. So Naomi's still borderline. Her performance in this written test could be crucial. OK, everybody, time's up. I'd like you to bring your papers over to me, please, and uh, I'll give you your results in about 20 minutes. The marking process takes longer than expected, as Colin and the team debate long and hard about certain results. Hawks hoping for a score of 75%. But Naomi's just praying she's achieved the 70% pass mark. Hawk, come on in. Take a seat right here, cowboy. <laughs> just be gentle with me, huh? Mate, I gotta tell you, you had me worried uh, halfway through the course. I was thinking um, some of the, the fight skills, the tumbling skills, and the obstacle course was gonna really get to you and, and hammer your results. But uh, I must tell you, I was very, very impressed with the way you finished. Congratulations, you got an 80% pass. It's a great result, mate. Well done. Good luck, mate, and we'll talk to you tonight and party with you. Thank you, Beth. Thanks. Thank you. A better result than Hawke dreamed of. British rookie Stee is one of the contenders for top spot. You got an overall mark of 85%, which is actually second top in the whole group. Great. Well done. <laughs> awesome. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Excellent. We'll see you tonight. See you tonight. So Johnny needs 85% or more to be leading the pack. Overall, Johnny, really, really happy with your performance. You've done some great work over the three weeks. Thank you very much. Uh, you've passed with a 78%. Cheers. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Colin. Thank well you. Cheers, Shay. Thank you very much. See you tonight. See you later. 
Hi, Peter. How has the youngest rookie fared against his older colleagues? Well, Peter, I've got to tell you, you've blown us away with your ability. <laughs> so, so you actually got 88%, which is the top mark of the whole group, number one. Really? I'm really, really pleased for you. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It's excellent. We look forward to seeing you tonight, and uh, yes. let's celebrate. Good on you, Pete. Thanks. Hey, come on in, take a seat. Naomi is the last one in. For the tutors, her mark has been the most difficult to decide. Well, Naomi, it was a uh, bit of a slow start for you. Um, as you know, we were a bit concerned about your, your mental focus and uh, your ability to stay positive. The last few days were very tough and a lot of pressure put on you and we were really watching your performance. And I've got to tell you, I was very impressed with the way you managed to stay focused, stay happy, and, uh, and really put in 100%. It was a great effort. Thank you. You got an overall mark of 72%, so you really just scraped in because I know you missed a few days, but uh, great job. Okay, thanks for your time, gentlemen. Naomi's relieved, but regrets the missed sessions that cost her marks. I've pulled through. I'm stoked that I've actually finished the course and I've like, got that piece of paper and the percentage or whatever. I'm spewing at myself for taking those few days off. I shouldn't have been so stupid. I should have just stuck to my guns and gone for it. The rookies are celebrating the end of three of the toughest weeks of their lives. 20 years from now, if I'm successful in the business, I'll probably look back and go, yeah, it was thanks to that course I took back in Australia. That was probably where it all started. It's sort of ominous to think about that you've got the rest of your life starting today. Nine months later, Hawk's already getting stunt work in Los Angeles, and in his spare time, he's a private detective. Johnny and Stee are traveling the world. Peter's performing stunts in stage shows in Melbourne. Naomi's on course to join Australia's 200 accredited stunt people. And Mike's wrist has healed. He's getting regular stunt work. <laughs> 